Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. If you're up north like me, staying warm because honey, it is getting cold outside. Whew, my goodness. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this holiday berry look as well as how I installed this new wig. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. So I want to give a shout out to OMG Hair, her hair company for sponsoring today's video. They provided the wig that we're going to be installing today and I'm super excited to show you guys. It's definitely giving flawless. Along with the unit, they sent over some goodies like rat tail comb, an edge brush, wax stick. Definitely super useful things to help us create a flawless install. And here is the wig that they sent over. She is so, so cute. You guys already know how much I love curly hair. It does have HD lace and it's also 20 inches. And the most fascinating thing about this wig is that it does come with super curly edges, which I thought was really, really cute. It just makes for an even more flawless install. The lace is also pre-plucked and pre-bleached so you really don't have to do anything to this wig to make it look flawless. It literally comes in the box ready to go. I'll definitely be sure to leave all of the information for this unit down below in the description box for you guys along with a link to the exact wig that I'm wearing if you guys are interested in checking it out. I also wanted to let you guys know that OMG Her Hair Company is having a Black Friday sale so if you use the code of black you can get 15% off of your purchase so make sure you check the description box all of the information for the unit that I'm wearing as well as the Black Friday sale will be there so yeah let's go ahead and get into this install I am gonna be doing the bald cap method using my little stocking that I got from the beauty supply store and um, yeah I've been using a stocking for my bald cap method because it just makes for a much more like flawless install the fabric of the stocking is a lot thinner than like your typical wig cap so it's gonna lay a lot flatter and just look more seamless. I go in with my ebon lace adhesive and my ebon lace tint to tint the stocking and also to um, secure the stocking onto the skin. And I also use the ebon lace adhesive to lay the wig down. So you guys are actually seeing me install this wig for a second time. The first time that I installed this wig, I applied a lace adhesive like on top of the lace if that makes sense versus like onto the skin and then laying the lace on top so when i did it the first time like i wasn't really like feeling the way that it was looking like the lace i think that when it comes to hd lace like it's so much better if you apply at least in my opinion i feel like it's so much better when you apply the lace adhesive to the skin and lay the lace on top i've just found that when it comes to hd lace like it just looks more flawless that way so i did so I definitely wanted to like redo the install and it definitely came out better the second time around, which is what you guys are watching right now. But yeah, so the lace is already cut. It's like already adjusted to like my hairline and everything like that, but I didn't do like any type of plucking or anything. I literally just like cut the lace and that's it. <laughs> like, so the hairline is like perfectly plucked and everything. It's so, so nice. So yeah, I just wanted to like throw that out there for you guys because usually when I'm installing like a brand new wig, you guys will see me cut off the extra lace on camera and all that other stuff, but this time it's kind of like a reinstall. Anyways, yeah, so this is what the wig is giving so far. I'm super in love with these curls. They're so, so pretty. We're definitely gonna be like working with the curls and making those babies pop later on. Right now, I'm just gonna start working on these edges. So the edges that are like already customized into the wig were a little long. I definitely really like like the curly texture of them, but they were still a little bit on the longer side, which is definitely like not a problem. If you're into like more natural style, I feel like this is like one of a really, really great wig to try because the edges are curly. You can just trim them up a little bit shorter if you feel like they're too long for you. And then you have that curly texture, you know, already like, you know, perfectly 
in line for you. <laughs> but yeah, so I wanted to do a little style. You guys know how much I love like a swoop when it comes to these edges. <laughs> so I definitely trimmed them up a little bit and styled them um, using my little itty bitty hot flat iron and my um, hot comb and just a little bit of hairspray. I does are like, that's like my magic combo when it comes to doing edges and like styling them when I'm installing a wig. I just like to trim then I flat iron and curl them, and then I'll go in with my hairspray, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit to lay the hairs down, and that's literally it. But yeah, you guys know how much I love like a good styled edge. <laughs> So yeah, like that's pretty much it for the edges. I kept the styling for this hair super simple because I really, really just wanted like the curls on this wig to just like pop and be like the star of the show when it comes to the hair. So I just did my signature side part. I like made sure to go in with my hot comb and like, you know, define that side part. And then I use a little bit of curl defining cream from Aunt Jackie's. I think this is the Curl La La Curl Defining Cream. And I just ran that through the hair using my fingers and add a little bit of water just to kind of like activate the curls as I was applying the product. And that's literally it. The curls look amazing. <laughs> I'm like definitely gonna be wearing this wig more often like it's going in like my stash of like wigs that I have for everyday wear. I love it. It's just like a really beautiful like simple unit that works really great for everyday wear. So yeah, definitely make sure to check out the description box for all of the information on this unit as well as the Black Friday sale that OMG Her Hair Company is having. Thank you so much again for sending over this wig. It is bomb and gorgeous and I love it. <laughs> But yeah, so now that we are all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into this makeup look. So I definitely like to prep well before I go into like my foundation and all that. I already did my skincare off camera, so I'm just gonna go straight into like primers and everything. So to prep the skin, I use the Milk Hydro Grip priming or setting spray. I also like to touch up my T-zone with a little bit of a mattifying primer. I've been really enjoying this one from LH Cosmetics. So I'm just gonna add that to the forehead, the nose, and kind of like on the lower portion of the cheeks right underneath the under eye area. Those are like the areas that I typically get oily. So basically like the T-zone. But yeah, I just like to kind of keep those areas like nice and matte. So a good mattifying primer is definitely a must. <laughs> And then for foundation, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Foundation. The glow on this, you guys can definitely see, it's beautiful. Such a good foundation. I love mixing it with other foundations as well because it's so glowy. It just looks really, really beautiful and I highly recommend that you guys check this one out if you can. It's definitely like, you know, a hot item right now, so it's sold out a lot, but if you can get your hands on it, definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments if you've tried it before i think it's beautiful and it's definitely getting like a lot of hype and good reviews right now anyways moving on to concealer i use the huda beauty faux filter concealer and this one is in shade praline 6.3 neutral it's definitely a full coverage one you guys know i'm full coverage when it comes to concealer so she's definitely like you know been giving all of the feels I'm then gonna go in with my liquid blush and this one's from Rare Beauty. She is definitely like, you know, a blush that is like highly rated and talked about. Um, this is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in shade Love. I love this color. I think out of all of the shades from Rare Beauty, this is like my favorite color. It's like a beautiful terracotta, like warm orangey shade. And it just gives the skin like the perfect amount of like warmth and color and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that next. Then I'll set everything with powder. So I'm using the Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in shade Sugar Cookie. The powder itself is white, but it's definitely just translucent. I always like to go in with like a very thin layer of powder right after I apply my concealer just to kind of set 
the concealer first before I go in with my bake. I'm not looking for color payoff with this. I'm literally just trying to set the, the concealer and that is all. <laughs> um, I'll then go in with my powder foundations and I've been really loving these ones from Glowish by Huda Beauty and I'm using shade number eight. Like it's like more medium coverage but it has like a really nice like luminous glow to it so it kind of goes perfectly with that elf foundation that we applied earlier. I'm also going to use shade number 11 in the same powder foundation. This shade though I'm going to be using to bronze. So I'm going to apply that on to the forehead, the cheeks, and the nose and then I'll go back in with my Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder from Huda Beauty. I'm just going to switch shades. I'm using Blondie and I'll be using that one to bake. Also, by the way, if I sound a little congested, it's because I'm having like issues with like my sinuses. I've been having like a really hard time adjusting to like the difference in weather here in Chicago, the air here, especially now that it's like getting close to like winter time, it's so much more dry compared to Miami. Miami is like super, super humid and here it's like cold and dry. So my sinuses have been like trying to adjust and it's like causing me to feel like congested sometimes. I don't know. I've been trying to drink like tons of water to help, you know, that out, but Sometimes it's just like, I can't help it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be going in with my powder blush now to reinforce that liquid brush that we applied earlier from Rare Beauty. This powder blush is from Artist Couture. It's from their Love Sprung Face Palette. And this one is in volume three. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. So for brows these days, I've been going for more of like an arched brow, still very sculpted, but definitely more of an arch. So. I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in shade Espresso. I'm gonna fill in the brow with that. And then I'm gonna sculpt them out using Makeup Forever's Foundation Palette or HD Skin Palette and just use that to sculpt the on like the bottom portion of the brow. So now that the brows are all done, it's time to move into the shadow look. I went ahead and did one eye off camera and it's giving like, I love this look. It's super simple, but definitely like packs a punch with like the color. I'm first gonna prep the eyes with an eyeshadow crayon from ColourPop. I loved this color. It's so, so pretty. It's like a really beautiful berry, like maroon type of shade. This is the ColourPop Color Sticks. And and this one is in shade Fairy Dust. It's like a creamy matte formula. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid and just make sure to blend out the edges before I go in with my shadows. Then I'm gonna go in with my first eyeshadow from the Carnival 4 palettes by Be Perfect Cosmetics and Stacey Marie. I'm using the shade Fall and I'm gonna apply that onto the very edges to just further blend out that um, color pop color sticks product. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to apply that using a super fluffy brush just to get a really nice blend. Then I'm going to go in to my second eyeshadow also from the Carnival 4 palette and I'm going to apply that on to the crease as well. Just bring it a little bit lower from our second shadow to create that really beautiful gradient effect. And this color is called Sweet Cheeks. Then next, I'm gonna go in to my lid shadow. The shadow that I'm using is from the ColourPop Enchanted palette. I believe that this palette is like a new release. I'm gonna be using the shade, I believe it's Faye. I could be wrong, it could also be faux. The labeling for the shade names are in cursive and the cursive is really small, so I can't tell if it's like an O or an A, but it's one of the two. It's like a really pretty like, <laughs> like a cranberry like berry shade and I thought it would just look perfect with the color sticks that we used before from ColourPop as well. So I'm just gonna um, pat that on to the lid space and then I'll go in to um, some other shadows to smoke out the lash line. I'm gonna use the I'm a Snow Cute shadow palette from Be Bella Cosmetics. I'm gonna take a mixture of S'more Chocolate and Santa's Watching and apply that on to the um, the lash line just to smoke it out and create more of like that, you know, dark to light to grady effect between the lash line and the crease. So that'll pretty much be it when it comes to shadows. I'm just going to add my 
um, eyeliner to my waterline. This one's from Melt Cosmetics. It's definitely like very well loved, as you can see. It's really tiny. I should probably get rid of this thing, but I love like a beige like liner in the waterline, and this one from Melt has been like my favorite. And then I'll go in with my mascara. I'm using Valentino's Magnificent Volumizing Mascara. Love this stuff. It's definitely like super bougie, but also like a really good mascara. That's why I keep using it regardless. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add that and then I'll go ahead and pop on my lashes. The lashes that I'm using, I'll make sure to put a link down below in the description box to them so you guys can check those out. From there, I'll just go ahead and dust away the rest of my bake and um, add my little nose highlight because you guys know I love like a cute little highlight on the bridge of the nose. The highlighter that I'm using is from Jcat Beauty. This is the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter and it's in shade Solstice B. And then finally, I'll just go ahead and do my lip combo. I'm gonna use a mixture of two liners. One is from NYX Cosmetics. This is their slide on lip liner in shade Urban Cafe. And then just to further define the lips and like contour them, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk 3 Intense Lip Liner. I'm also gonna be using two new lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury as well. I've been so obsessed with like Charlotte Tilbury very lipsticks like the formula is amazing the packaging is beautiful so it just looks so cute in like your makeup bag anyways i'm using shades super fabulous and then i'm also going to use a little bit of cover star and that'll be it for the look i hope you guys enjoyed today's hair and makeup tutorial if you did definitely let me know what you think of the look down below in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm sending lots and lots and lots of love. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.